What's up, y'all? This here is Jason with Flame of Perishama. I'm joined here with my wife, who is our singer. Her name is Yennefer, if you're a Witcher fan. But if you're not, her just name is Jennifer. So, we are going to do a reaction to a band called Love Bites, Holy War, live at Zep Diver City, Tokyo, 2020. Ooh. We're kind of going off on a... Uh, a power metal Japanese tangent. Mm, yeah. Just yeah. because I just discovered nah, a few months ago yeah. how amazing Japanese metal is. Oh, yes. And it's it's a little bit better than American metal in some cases. Yeah. In a lot of instances. I mean, to be fair, it's not particularly hard to do. What, metal? No, being better than American metal. I feel like a lot of the best bands are. Okay. Yeah. The best band? Well, you talking about like new band, new metal? Cause I, mean, I don't know, just the bands that I like. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them are are non-American. Yeah, yeah. But I, maybe that's just because you know American is just what I'm used to, and I'm just kind of like nah, tired of it. I mean, there's there's know. some there's some great American power metal, progressive metal. Oh, bands, for sure. But I'm know. just saying. But like, but I. I mean, Europe and Japan have a, a vast, like, well oh, of bands it's... that are, are just waiting to be discovered, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, pretty cool. absolutely. Just so high quality and so creative. Yeah. Just from an artistic standpoint, I appreciate it. So a lot of people have recommended us that we listen to Love Bites, and I'm finally getting around to it. Yeah. And let's see what all the hype is about, you know? Because, okay. uh, you know, I'm familiar with, like, bands like Baby Metal, mm -hmm. yeah. which actually kind of, I really like, you know, especially... I just like them, but no. mm -hmm. um, everyone does. <laughs> of course, <laughs> what's not to like? <laughs> okay, but let's no. check this out. Okay. pausing it within the first 14 seconds. However, I'm a big fan of Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. And this intro feels like the song that won uh, the Battle of the Bands and Bogus Journey. Oh yeah? Yes. Okay. It just feels like, I know that was a Kiss song, but um, this song feels like it could be of that greatness, you know what I mean? Like, it could save the universe. Yes. Yes. And yes. Okay. So let me back it up just so I don't. Because those 14 seconds were. It was really awesome and I want to hear it, it again. It was important. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a sucker for power stances in uh, metal, yeah. especially when girls uh -huh. do it. It's just mm. like, it's so cool. Their legs look so much better than this guy's. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> no offense. <laughs>
posit, <laughs> I posit at the perfect Great, place. Amazing. Look at two power stances at the same time. It, that that's the least of my concerns. I'm just, I'm just. Oh, that guitar playing! Oh my word! They make it look very easy. Just. <laughs> okay. Um, it's wild. Okay, you went to you went to uh, the techie. You went to university for music. Yes. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it was the Asian students that were always the best. Pretty much, yes. yes. And they they were taking they taken over classical music years ago. Yeah. And now they've taken over metal. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, they deserve it. I mean, this is awesome. It's like they've taken like the the prodigies of you know violin and mm -hmm. piano. You know, you, it's just a stereotypical Asian girl or little boy <laughs> who just plays you know Mozart or Bach to perfection at the age of seven. Uh huh. They grew up and they played metal, and now the, here's here's well, where basically, we're at. I think what happened was that they grew up playing classical music, and then they saw Metallica and they saw Iron Maiden, and they were like, "We can do that." Americans better. and the Brits, yes. <laughs> yeah. They're like, let's let's one up them. <laughs> let's uh, let's do that better, and they did, yes. and so they did, yes. and this is and I, I just incredible. I just love how like all all of them have like they look like <laughs> you're still on the power stance. They look like Greek goddesses, like with their, <laughs> with Athena, you know, with their with their dresses and. <laughs> oh. Anyways. Anyway, yes. Carry on. <laughs>triceps to play guitar like that yeah yeah she probably has one of those gripper things in her car too i mean her triceps are almost as nice as yours thank you almost mm -hmm. almost there you. yes yes but um are those what is that are those different picks on her yeah she stands? puts picks over there because she'll throw the picks into the audience gotcha sure. gotcha it's yes cool. yes yes mm -hmm. very awesome yes that is okay
was crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Okay. Um, dang. That was awesome. Um, I was watching their technique as yes. they were playing. Yes. And, uh, you know, I come from a classical background on guitar as well. Mm -hmm. So, and on classical guitar, they teach you to be as efficient as possible with your left hand, especially mm -hmm. while you're fretting. Yeah. Um, so I was watching their fingers particularly, and I see a lot of like, electric, electric guitar players that play fast. Yeah. Their fingers fly like way off the fretboard, which is extremely inefficient when you're playing fast. Yeah. yeah. But both of those women, um, their fingers were like within millimeters from the string when they're not playing the string yeah. or, or on the fret. They're only within like a couple millimeters from the next string, which makes it so efficient when you want to play fast. Yeah. And like, I feel like, I wonder if they actually did come from a classical guitar background. Oh, I'm positive Because of did. the way they, yeah. they were learned. Their, their movement was like, their, their hand was barely moving. Yeah. You know, if they're playing these, ex yeah. you know, six, 16th complex. notes at uh, 180 BPM, you know, it's just like, and yeah. they make it look so easy because yeah. their hand's barely moving. You know, it's yeah. just very micro movements, you know? Yeah. And, well, her, same with her, like with her, her vocals, I think she's uh -huh. a proper background for sure. Yeah. And she's so tiny and it's like powerful voice, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I would be very surprised if all of them didn't have a classical background. I bet you they yeah. do. Yeah. I'm sure that they do. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> took took me forever to get through that song because I kept pausing it. But, um, no, that was that was an amazing song. I'm Pete. That was uh, pretty something. Yes. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, it was I think my re reaction speaks for itself. Where yeah. I was just like kind of <laughs> floored, you know? Yeah. What do you think? No, I agree. I agree. I, I think there's a very strong theat uh, theatrical, classical influence for sure. I'd be very surprised if they're not for all uh, they, from they've classical got backgrounds. They've got, you know? absolutely got to be, yeah. No, no, I don't think there's any doubt at all. Yeah. Um, I really like the one guitarist, and I'm not good at, I don't know if it was lead or rhythm or uh -huh. whatever. They were both lead. They were both lead, okay. They both the one, there was they one girl who had the really cool hair. Sure. She had it like braided like this, okay. and a ponytail on top, and she was just really getting into it. Oh, like she's the one I. The... The, she's the one I dubbed Athena. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So she's she was mouthing. She really she got into it. It was really fun watching her. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And then the other one was like on the other side of the stage, and yeah, she was just like very non-expressive in her face, but very focused. She just made it look. She made it look like she made easy. It like... You know? <laughs> yeah. She's like okay. <laughs> Yeah, I wish it was that easy. You know? Incredible, incredible talents. No kidding. No. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, very good. All right, well, we better uh, move along now. So, uh, hope you'll uh, subscribe to the channel. And, yes, definitely uh, keep, do. Keep watching our videos. <laughs> and check out our music, you yes. know, of course. So. Flame of Perishable. Yeah, there's links below. Yes. 
You guys have a good night. <laughs> or day. Or morning. Whatever Whatever. time of day it is when you watch this. Yeah.